Hey everybody, this is Erica from the Classic Clown Blog. Uh, I wanna talk about seasonal businesses, uh, where people may look their nose down at it and not pay attention to it. Don't wanna sell things on Amazon, don't do uh, seasonal work or seasonal businesses. Uh, landscaping. Landscaping is the one I wanna to tackle today because it's easy, you can see the numbers. Um, example, uh, I see guys all the time, in the truck, vinyl on the side, stop by a house, you know, no soliciting signs on the door and they knock all the time. Hey dude, your grass is ridiculous. Would you like me to cut it for 40 to 50 bucks? I'll cut your grass, trim your bushes, whatever. Now usually the owner of the house could do one or two things, slam the door, yay, nay. At the end of the day, most people I've seen in Texas go, yeah, 40, 50 bucks, saves me the trouble, get them out there, done. Uh, now if this guy is consistent, Monday through Saturday, knocking on doors, um, wearing a nice clean shirt, not looking too dirty. You know, he might even have a swipe machine attached to an iPad, uh, you know, where you can, you know, pay him with your debit card, just in case that's your excuse. I don't have any cash. Guess what? I've got a swipe machine right here to my, my iPad. Um, that right there uh, is powerful. And if he's consistent through the summer, that one house that he hits, he may hit the house twice a month because the way the grass grows, depending on where they're at. Uh, then, you know, depending on how long the summer is in that area, he may go to that house eight times. Now, let's say he just does a 50 buck job. $50, you know, depending on if he upsells them on some bushes or some work or some landscaping, the other items, that would be great. But let's just say he doesn't. Let's say he just does about $400 each summer off each house. If he gets 100 houses, that's $40,000 in the summer, just his summer. Let's say the fall, he doesn't work that hard. He likes to stay home. Uh, he works on some other business. He's a teacher in the fall. Or you, you, you name it. He's a part-time welder, a part-time builder, a part-time farmer. The countless things he could be part-time is what I'm what I'm trying to get at here. Um, that 40000 for that summer is impactful. You know, when he files his taxes, he has a $40,000 business. Now, let's say he's a little bit more of a hard worker and he hits more houses. Than you, know, you know, you can hit 10 houses a day, uh, depending on how fast you're cutting grass and mowing lawns and, you know, uh, cutting bushes. If he hits 10 houses a day, six days a week, that's 60 houses, um, 60 houses a week. 60 times four, that's 240 houses. Um, you know, we do, let's say we have a four or five month summer. Now I got all the math below, I'm gonna have it written down. But by the time he does that, we're talking about a $100,000 business. And we're talking about just four or five months of his summer. So let that soak in when people go, oh, I would, I don't wanna do landscaping, I don't do a service company, I don't wanna do, whatever it may be, that it may be seasonal or Christmas tree cutting or decorating Christmas lights and neighborhoods, whatever it may be, you have to put the numbers there. If you have a service that you can kind of repeat that business um, and get it up to 100,000 in a couple months, who who turns that down, you know? Uh, or, you know, uh, I would say there's several examples I can give, which I'll work on. I'll do a couple videos about them. but. That's just, just a little tip there. Remember that. Um, service businesses make millions. They make $100,000 a year easy. So, again, this is Erica from the Classy Climb blog. You guys can reach me at Erica S. Williams on Twitter. Uh, definitely give me some feedback. All right, thanks.